Hello everyone, welcome back to episode 10, I believe, of our Imperator of Rome campaign as Averni. And we left off the last episode with this plot here, Whispers in the Dark. The greatest threat to any nation comes from, comes not from without, but from within. The constant infighting between those who would name themselves heir can consume his plotting to ensure his future by doing away with the competition. We should thus keep a watchful eye on this guy. And I think we're gonna take their advice and make him an important character. And therefore we'll also have to say, pay, we'll have to keep a close eye on him. We will lose a bit of gold, but so be it. What's all this with the armies? Did we end a war or something? Oh yeah, we did. We captured this little area here because we needed it for our Conquest of gold, that's true. And we basically have all we need up in the north, actually. Now what we need is Nervia. And that's as far north we need to go. And then, from then on out, we can just push westward. Which should be easy. This pretender here ha has been spending increasingly quantities of time with another pretty claimant or throne. Ariovistus Brennus, oh. These two are natural enemies, so it might be wise to be particularly careful with this development, developing situation. Thanks to our discreet surveillance of the conspirators, we were able to determine that they were having an animated discussion about Galvabrennus, our beloved heir. Oh no. That is troubling. Perhaps we can convince this guy not to get involved. Oh, we should probably warn Galbat about the plot at once. We're not gonna pay anyone. Let them try to do whatever they want. We will oppose them nevertheless. There we go, we have now gotten rid of our army. And our battalions will return home. Actually, let's just merge you back into one group again. And then, you guys, get back here. And that meant we actually got a military tradition. And what were we going for? I did make another poll over on Discord, and we were regarding how our army should build our legion here. And they said mostly heavy units, which we were building towards right now, so that's what we're going to go for. So we'll also probably have to pick something with heavy influence, or that will help us with heavy stuff, like this one here. Strong arm. Heavy something infantry offense. Yeah, thank you. Let's uh, fast forward again, and we should probably just turn down the speed a bit because a few things are happening here. Military advance as well. Nice. But we have a few disloyal characters, a disloyal province, two disloyal provinces actually. This one is improving again. Which one is this? The Alps. It's this one here. And then it was Avernia. And that is not good at all. I wonder why that is. It's because we made this a settlement. We have two settlements there. Yeah, that's true. Probably start focusing over in here. Maybe build like a noble here or a courthouse. But we can't actually because they are disloyal. So no, actually, we'll have to wait on that. Let's focus on the invention first. Maybe something that can improve public order around our nation, wherever that is. National slave happiness. That's not exactly what we need. I mean, I did imply that, but no. Maybe something actually that improves our stability. But I don't know where that would be. And as I said that, we haven't actually done anything in terms of our military yet, so let's probably go for that. Let's go for some military provincial investment cost here that will give us one free province investment. And we shall probably invest it over here into Avernia. Where we then can... What are we actually... We're importing this. Cloth. No, that's not something. Hmm. I'm debating whether we should... 
try to import another resource or just go for another fortified stance. Or fortified province. Uh, let's uh, go for fortified province because it is an easy way to gain more provincial loyalty. We, sh we need to form a divine sacrifice to at least slow down our stability hit here. So it's just 0 0.02, which is survivable. Bad research, we know that. Pretenders to the throne, whatever. The plot infighting. The two dastardly claimants to the throne of Avernia, who have been plotting together to cause all manners of chaos, have seemingly fallen foul of one another. So much so, it seems that Ducarius, this guy, is reportedly marching a band of hired thugs to the dwelling place of Ariovistus Brennus at this very moment. If we wish to intervene, now would be the time. Oh, this is interesting. Should we intervene? I mean, he is the governor. And the other is a tribune. We could step in. It will gain the loyalty of both, actually. Or we will let them fight amongst themselves. I will say we will let them fight amongst themselves. Yeah, Balas. You're too old to do anything here. Call to arms from them. Oh, they have a revolt. There. Sure, we'll have to accept it. By the way, the reason we have this much gold is because of our mission. I haven't forgotten. We need at least 1,000 gold to complete this. And we are almost there. It will give us three slaves in all the different mines we've built. Plus one more settlement. Because it was only five mines, I believe, we made. And there are six different regions here. And uh, I can only be happy about that. Because the more slaves, the better, I guess. This loyal province. Yeah, this again. I mean, we can change this. But should we? Not only because... Like, we don't necessarily need to change it just because we can. Like, it's all Gallic, it's all Druidic as well, so... It should all be as it should, as hoped for, actually, so... Whatever. I mean, I guess we can go for, like... Well, not that one. Bleed them dry, that sounds horrible. Uh, let's... Take a look around here. Anything that increases province loyalty, harsh treatment, of course, but that will destroy all our population output, so no. We can go for local autonomy, which I think we might have to go for. Just for now. Look at that, that turned it down to zero. So now it's somewhat stable, it's probably some lower stat that we can't see that actually lowers it even more so than it already is. But so be it. It's better to keep it at zero and not decreasing than actually keep it decreasing all the time. But I did actually really want to build like that. It was here, right? The academy to increase noble happiness because they are the ones taking, taking this down the most. I can imagine. Also the governor corruption, so perhaps we need to change you. To someone less corrupt. Like this guy here. It's just... It will cause some trouble. So we might actually put in this guy here. And he is fine actually. He is a great marshal too. So yeah, let's go for this guy. He is loyal too. It will probably change after this. Let's see. He's going for harsh treatment. For now. And at least it is turning things around. Although it might be bad in the long term. These guys... They are still unhappy. But now it's not because of the governor. Reduced governorship. Oh. Yeah. Nice. And any laws here yeah, that we can perform? No, most of them actually out of our hands so far. Because we don't have the research for it. Like, I mean, like, the domestic laws here sounds interesting enough to get, like... Aside Freeman ratio or citizen ratio, which is like what I can imagine is going to be interesting. Or authority laws, sponsored scholars, or might of majesty. 
which both would be very interesting to get. So how do we get them? Scientific patronage and a gradated citizenship. And that is probably in here, right? Let me just find that real quick. Okay, so I have finally found them. We have the scientific patronage all the way down here, so it is quite far away. So we're, it's pretty unlikely we are not going to get that anytime soon. But the other one, the gradated citizenship, is right here actually. So we can easily get that if we just go for the code of rights, granted menu missions, and then one of these here national citizen output and political influence over three minute outcome but yeah so that's probably what we are gonna go for from now on out focus on that which is reasonable enough our aggressive expansion is rather high so we shouldn't really expect any wars today and i doubt any civil wars will occur i mean like we have this up here but like we aren't really required to go to war with them because like it looks like the namnete they're Doing fun their own. Whatever this is, just take this guy. Don't know too much. And you should probably go and prove your legitimacy a bit because it is horrendous at the moment. Oh, this province is bleeding provincial loyalty. Which is not good. Not good at all. Hmm. I guess we'll have to take another tyranny hit here and go for our treatment again. They aren't producing that much anyway, so... I mean, they have a province or a city here. So it's not really that great, but that is how it is. Our idea here, invention, has been completed. So now that is up and running again. They are getting more happy again because of our governor. Oh yeah, and he probably changed a lot of stuff around here. Yeah, down here in Massalia or Alpes Maritime. They are really unhappy, especially Massalia, mainly Massalia. And for us, we are starting to go down this route here. And we need this right one here first. Right to be heard. National citizen output, which will help us too. Give us a bit more gold, not much, but still some. I need to turn this down to... Oh, and yeah, we had war, so fuck off. Capture this loyalty. We have a view, of course. As expected. Avitius Brenners. Silver-tongued and whatever. Intelligent. Just like your brother. If you can even say that. These guys are at war with each other. Oh, income is increasing pretty fast now. Rome, what are you doing? You have expanded into parts of mass. You've taken Athens of all places. And it is not even a proper settlement. Did you destroy it? I think you might have. Oh, Rome. Yeah, like all the other places here, they have settlements, but not Athens anymore. That is how it goes when you start to uh, fight Rome, I guess. And when Rome starts to fight you, without cause. But who can blame them? Our manpower is low too now, because our army uh, has mostly been replenished. So that's great. It's, uh, very good, actually. You, my good sir, you are actually not all that uh, loyal to us. Can we find someone to be in charge that is? This guy here, but he's old. But I also just saw we can't. Wait, what? No, we can't actually put in another guy here. Whatever. Citizens for Bituri Gear. We have informed that a group of citizens are preparing to move from one area to another. One of the regions of our ally Biturgir. It is said having a better understanding of our two cultures could bring us even closer. But it would certainly weaken us if all our people start leaving Avernia. Hmm. We don't really need to bring our countries closer. These are our citizens. We're gonna be fucking tyrants. It's ours. Abala decides. Abalos. He rules. He knows what's best. For now, I guess. 
You can also uh, increase legitimacy. It will increase our monthly tourney and legitimacy cost. But it is needed and it is affecting us negatively, I believe. It is improving too, but uh, we need to improve it even more, so let's do it. Barbarians, where? Up there. I mean, yeah, let's, let's, let's go beat, beat the crap out of them. Just because we can. And we have Rome. Whatever, like, we've had this before, so let's just say it belongs to us. Screw Rome. And they are back to being bellicose again, so that is really bad. Oh yeah, we could do that actually now that we are continuing to expand up here in the north. It will lower our aggressive expansion, but it will hurt our income by quite a lot. And, well, I guess that is pretty much all. We don't have the influence foot right now, but right before we go to war next time, whenever that is, we will make sure to have that on so we can actually expand even further and even faster than we already are. Look at our tyranny, all, all the way up at 12.5. It's only being lowered by 0 0.07, so that's like nothing at all. But it's good for stability though. And uh, aggressive expansion. Betrayal. The sudden and bitter feud between Lucarius and uh, Ariovistus Brenners has ended in a violent and unexpected conclusion. The two plotters clearly fell out over some matter, but quickly what but quite what that was is anyone's guess. Thankfully, this seems to have ceased any further actions they were interesting in taking against us. Such hatred. And Ariovistus Brenners gains wounded, and the other guy is Improving his popularity. That is not good, actually. Not good at all. Is he perhaps a threat to us? Only time will tell. We just lost the siege because of these bitches up here. Well, we are almost there to take them down. And our goal is almost at 1000 so we can clean this up. Oh yeah, we also need to build an aqueduct and stuff down here, but uh, right now, none of that is even possible. There's an aqueduct, a court of law, or and a granary, and neither of that is present at the moment. So maybe we should start working on this one here. Religious endowments. It will require a bunch of influence. Meaning, Balas will go on to influence instead of whatever you're doing right now. And our guys here. Can you take this back, please? Just beat the crap out of them once, and that should be enough. Unless they try to escape, that is. Keep on them. We can do this. Yeah, they're just standing there. Contact Civil War ends, that's good for them. We don't really care about them because they're too far away. And uh, yeah, there we go, we're gonna engage them here. A loyal subject, oh why not, whatever. Next time perhaps we'll say that. We need the stability at the moment. Taking down these barbarian scum. Be gone, stop. There we go. Are they escaping into neutral territory? I think they are. Oh, look at all the gold we just got there. Hmm. Nice. And by that, can we now build this? Oh, now I understand. We either need to produce or import wood or olives, and we also need to produce one of the following of grain, fish, livestock, and vegetables. So we need another resource to, to import down here. So we actually shouldn't have gone for fortified stance, but rather the business investments instead. And we did do that, so that is my bad. Barbarians defeated. We profited greatly by gaining a bunch of gold, so that's good. And they are gone. 
and we return south now. But because of that, actually, and we need a bunch of influence now before we can actually do anything, we should probably start building some stuff down here to increase our public order. Let's build the Great Temples first of all, so we can get that Territory Provincial Loyalty up by 0 0.05, which will eventually turn up to 0 0.010, because there are two of them, which will help us a lot, and maybe allow us to go off of this harsh treatment thing here so for that i didn't don't know what that was but whatever let's take a look at all our settlements for now alicia you can get something do you need anything though yeah you, you can need another one of these actually all the places that can have one should probably get one let's buy some iron what about here? You are in a fine position, I believe. Yeah, oh my god, you have a lot of nobles here. Let's build another library. We've just spent all our gold again, even though we saved it up for this one purpose. But that is how it is. If we can't afford to have it, we should probably just spend it. That is our life. Probably focus on getting another uh, temple down here too. We don't have any. Let's get rid of that one and perhaps also... Well, we can't get rid of anything else. Just need to wait till we can build another one and we can build that when we have that much gold. And we will get that soon, I guess. Shouldn't take too long. Just building temples to improve provincial loyalty because we can't bother to do anything more than that. Scholars of the Divine. This guy here has by all oh well her has by all accounts remained a scholar of the divine woman for much of her life. It caused some embarrassment therefore when she was discovered extorting a local temple to an egregiously unreasonable degree. Oh let's just say oh well. Oh and that actually gives us all the hmm. Well, in, in that case, because now that will be done soon. I know this is just a bit stupid, but we're going to get rid of all of these temples here that we're currently building. So we're going to have all our gold back. And then get that shit done. I guess. That was like really good. All out of nowhere. I mean, we did take quite a corruption hit, which is, which is bad, I guess. It will hurt our monthly legitimacy and monthly wages and political influence over time. But it will increase pop migration speed, I guess. Which I think is fine. I can live with that. We can hold games and probably should because we do have the gold for it. I mean, Abalasi is so old that we should probably need to. This guy offers a friendship that could be useful, or we don't need their friendship. Let's say it like that, because Abalas, he's a lonely fucker. How long time until this is done, actually? 11th of February? Oh, that's still quite some time away. Damn. Then perhaps down here... Where is that settlement? There, there it is. No, we can't actually build anything here. Not anymore. But up here we can. Should we build the temple? Yeah, let's, we might as well then just say, wait those extra turns because like this province here, I feel like we'll probably rebel at some point again. So it is reasonable enough to build it here. I mean, it is on the front lines where we probably just should have built a fortress rather than that. But that is fine. How oh, are wow, fortresses actually? They are located right there. This is ours too, right? Yeah, it is. It is. I have one right there. A bunch of them along up here. Oh, we have this too. Don't need both of them. They are not needed. This one here is actually a religious place. So we'll probably keep that one. This one we can get rid of then. Oh, can't? Oh, there we, there we go. It's gone. This one we will keep. This one is fine for now because it's, it's, holding, it's holding this area. This one is fine too. We have this one all the way up in the north. 
a bunch of different places. Overall, I think our situation is stable enough. I am enjoying our position. Especially in terms of our scoreboard, where we are only really fighting with Roman. We've almost surpassed them, actually. Pontus, they're second. Oh, look at you. The Commerce Venture is up and running good. Now we just need to go. But uh, look at Pontus. They are massive. That could be an interesting campaign, too, to play in the future. Around the Black Sea. Or just in Anatolia in general. Near all these successors. Trying to grow strong along the coast here. Slowly expanding. Look at Bosporus too. Someone just died. And we can perform another divine thing. Go for that one, as always. Need that noble happiness and commerce income. That's like a really powerful one. Need a new guy up here. And we should probably go for this guy. He's just... He's, he is greedy though. It doesn't really hurt us that much. But he isn't corrupt, which is what I'm looking forward to the most. Hopefully he can turn this shit show up around. Seems like a bunch of different areas here, just not that happy about him in general. Just the north, I guess. Oh, and we have 1000 gold, so can we do this now? Oh yeah, we still need to import stuff, and we need wood, I believe. That was one of them. It was either wood or olives, and we couldn't get wood, but can we get olives? We can. Slave happiness. Oh, how dare you do this to us. Take from Cecily, there we go. And there we go. Now all of these places, they have gained like a shit ton of slaves. I mean, for that reason alone, it makes sense that we got it. And look at our income just... Jumped up to 10 right out of nowhere because of that. That's great to see. That's great to see. And now we can't really con complete this thing here. Before we actually have those three buildings. I mean, we could remove stuff. Should we do that though? I mean, libraries... The fort isn't real isn't really needed. The marketplace perhaps built three mills here, which is probably a bad idea for settlement. But like we do have a bunch of slaves, so in that aspect, it is kind of important. This region is really unhappy though. So happily, at least we have the local autonomy thing on to help them out. Let's just go into the administration thing here, make sure. All our provinces are actually importing what they're supposed to. Well, let's say that one because we can't afford it. This place here can actually import stuff. And that means it should import stuff as well. Probably some precious metals. Oh wait, we, can, can we... Can we import precious metals here in... Yeah, we can. Give us more of that national citizen happiness. A massive surplus on that. And then here we should probably do the same because we really want them to be happy. Anything that actually just increases research of all local happiness, noble happiness, and then different auditory skills. I mean, I guess we could go for that. National noble output. So silk would be the best, but we can't really get that here. Let's go for some cloth from that place. Looking good, looking good. And we, we're still looking at this. Provinces. This place here is in need as well of a resource. We, got, we have a lot of places that are unhappy actually. And you can import another resource. Let's go for some precious metals from... Who are these guys? Looks like someone from place we don't care about. It will give us a bunch more noble happiness, which should be fine. Should help us all along. All around, I guess. With this army, it's growing fast now. It's really large. Didn't remember it being this massive. But that's only good for us. Stability is slowly turning out in our favor again. And... 
we do still have the high wages on what does this change and a bit more gold but we don't need it and now we just need to lower corruption make sure that is not a problem for our many governors i guess because that can hurt us quite a lot let's take a look at this actually provinces Helvetia, you are unhappy where is where are you you're over there Nervia, you are unhappy all the way up in the north and then we have a bunch of provinces here all around us another oratory thing and then we just have a shit ton here and there all spread out our nation most of them are gonna turn out to be a problem for us so that's not good get this one national freeman output domestic laws what did this do again side citizen ratio or freeman ratio oh yeah that's right i mean yeah I guess we'll have to make a vote on which one we actually should choose. So that's probably going to be over on Discord. We will make that vote again once this video goes up. If I can remember to actually post it. I know that might be a small problem for me sometimes to actually remember to post it. But overall it should be fine. And for now we should probably just save up goals, build more of these great symbols here so we can actually get that, <laughs> that provincial loyalty up and running again. Probably also maybe make sure we can get the Grand Theatres too. Is in the Oratory Tree? Where is it? In that one? Or what was it called again? I forgot. It was called... Gradual Economic Integration and... It is... There it is. So that's not too far away either, so maybe we should go for that one next. So first we're going for this one, and then after that we're going for gradual economic uh, education, whatever it was. I think that sounds reasonable enough. Sure, it sure does for me. Our neighbors are apparently building stuff, oh, and they are fighting each other too. They can always do that, it will just make it easy for us. Orient civil war ends. All these big nations always have civil wars, it seems. Albania, oh my god, look at you. Grown powerful, it seems. And we have a better stability than Macedon. I am happy about that. Rome, you are pushing ahead now. Rather fast, actually. And Dravida, over, all the way down here, actually trying to contest the Morians. Make sure you don't actually die. That would be horrible. Sure, let's do that. And yeah, everything looks good. We're in a great position here, just earning gold. A simple life, really. Legitimacy is actually increasing as well, which is good. Still increasing by quite a lot actually, which is very good. Can't do this again, so that's whatever. Prosperity. Gain the stability. We can appreciate that. Does that help us in any way with all these unhappy regions? Not really, they're still going out of hand. Some of them are. Iron? From where? The province of Heidui. Where is Heidui? It's not any of these, right? But it's all the way up here. No, that's not it. Where is Heidui? There, yeah, okay, so that one is fine. I can accept that one. Just so long it's not actually from... Here. Because we need this one. Local citizen happiness is extremely high here, and national citizen happiness is high too. Oh, I thought it would increase national citizen happiness everywhere, not just local. So we don't need both of them actually. Get rid of the one of them. And then perhaps get something different. 
Let's build like marble, maybe some stone. First, do we need anything here for fur? No, no, not really. Uh, let's probably build some. I'm not sure actually. Let's probably go for the spice, perhaps. Yeah, might as well. It will still improve citizen some some happiness something. But uh, yeah, whatever. But it will give us something else as well. The bastard returns. Despite our efforts to hush up the affairs between Nabalas and Budicacia and the existence of the bastard child Galen, a now grown up babe has arrived at court requesting an audience with the king. It seems the servants trusted with conducting our orders were either unable to follow through or failed to maintain the secrets of the child's parenthood. They will be dealt with accordingly. As for the child, we can no longer avoid stir a court. His account has the support of eyewitnesses, and we can only acknowledge or deny his claim. Oh. I mean, we can- we have to deny all allegations. Say screw you, Galen. What? Well, how are you actually? I mean, yeah, you're a shit child. I oh, can colonize this. But Galen, you are shit. Compared to your sister here. So whatever you think really, you're not gonna be anything in this land. Syncretic Hellenism. We both have things to learn from each other, I think. Yeah, sure, why not? We can almost perform a divine sacrifice and probably should have, but we just invested our influence into something different, which now means our stability will decrease quite a lot. So be it. And do we have enough gold to build like another temple? We do. But let's go down here first. Masalia, for example. No, oh, not Masalia. This one? No. Here. Oh, we already have one there. Come on. Where do we actually need it? We need it here. We could get it right there. Or oh, actually, as a matter of fact, we might just build another city. Up in the north, perhaps. Right here, with 16 citizens, and access to the Rhine. I guess we just need the influence, which we currently can't spare. Which resource did we just lose? I guess we can't see that. I think it might have been something important. But whatever, we'll just buy cloth. Oh wait, we already have cloth. Never mind. Get rid of that one again. Uh, let's go for some Mohani, perhaps. Oh, we don't need that. It's just a unique resource. Let's take stone. I don't really care what we are importing there at the moment. That is just who I am. All looking good. But where should we invest all this gold, then? Now, I mean, here it would be reasonable. We can't. Neither we can we can't build thing in here either. I mean I guess it will have to be here. To be fair, it is a rather shitty place, so where do we need it the most? Probably here. Yeah sure, let's build it. Auto saving. There we go, it ticked in the great temple. Or oh, a great temple, not the so that is extremely good for us, I think. It will improve our troubling internal struggle. So, yeah. Not only be heavy. Our diplomatic uh, situation right now is rather interesting. Our allies are all out here. And we're trading with all of these guys. Actually, some of the ones we are interested in fighting, actually. And Rome. But who likes us and who hates us? Rome hates us. That's how it is. They want they want to buy our iron. Sure, let's sell that again. The Adevachi. They are 
growing powerful in a weird fashion. Sure, we can let them do that. Flipping Iberians, not knowing what they're doing. You've lost an orator. Oh no. Put in Gallenbrinders. I mean, that you can't do actually. Wow. So you're actually not completely useless. Oh, bastard. Inflammation, corrupt, and secure. Hmm. Interesting enough, actually. I mean, we could actually adopt him into our family. It will probably... Yeah, we, we do need the people here. We have Galba. We have a few men in the family, but some of them are old. Uh, Abilus Brinus is the oldest. So, yeah. Would have been useful. Oh, it looks like these guys here. They have a bright future ahead of them with many family members. You have a child too, but it, oh, it's, um, yeah, it's dead, that's it, that's not good, Galpa. Oh, but we can get something here, build, like, the stone thing, no, wait, what, we can't get that, oh, it's gone, it's fucking gone again, never mind, that is the life, really, the great temple has been built, and we can have someone Blocked because he was caught right-handed. Uh, yeah, let's do that. Have him flogged. I don't even know what it was, and I don't really care. <laughs> just do it. If we can flog someone, just think he deserve it. That's my mindset. We just think that. And I believe I'm right. No matter what. Once we get two more pups here, we can actually build something here just by itself. Oh, and we should... Um, do I sacrifice? Actually, should we? What was the other thing we could use our influence on? Oh yeah, that was build a city, but we don't have the gold for that at the moment. Do we? No, we don't. I mean, we will in seven months, but at that point, it will be too bad with our stability, so we are just gonna do that now and take a look at it later. Someone just died. It was our military technology guy. We can get another polymark here in as a research guy. He's young as well. Now let's use him somewhere else actually. Let's take this guy here from this family. No, let's take the research guy. Need to catch up in terms of research. This guy here is really bad, so let's put in Galbabrinus for now. Our heir. So we can get some experience. Start researching. It is soon to be completed as well. And with him in charge, it will be finished faster. So that's good. His popularity is fine. It is decreasing though, so that's not good. But he's healthy. He's in mourning. Yeah, because of his child, I guess. That's sad. Cautious. Poet, submissive, whatever. Overall, we are in a very decent position here. I am enjoying ourselves. What's going on up here in Britannia? Nothing to major. These guys... Oh, we can build a statue. Or the statue of Bals the First. We are grateful for this honor. For our nation. Thank you. So now we're the statue of Abalos. Oh wow. That is... Uh, we can't be uh, ungrateful for that, right? It's only a good thing. Just like everything else here. Let's go on harsh treatment out here. Why is this so horrible at the moment? Is it the tyranny? No, it's not even that. Stability is high. Oh yeah, stability, stability, stability. Maybe we should take one of these pops here. And make them nobles. These guys are slaves. These guys are citizens. And you are the ones all the way up there. You guys know Volke citizens already you guys are citizens too weren't there like 
someone here we wanted to make citizens. Just don't remember who it was. It is probably these guys. I'm not certain any longer. And I guess it doesn't really matter. Avernians. I mean, we can give them protected land rights. Something. Because right now, we have a few slaves from Avernia, which... I didn't really intend for us to have. But so be it. So be it. Nothing we can do about that. Albanian civil war ends. Should we build another research place here? Yeah, I think we should. Not just because we can. Or should we save it for another settlement? We can't because we don't have the influence for it anyway. So let's just keep on producing those temples. Or these libraries. They have built a settlement out here. Oh, we don't need to recruit mercenaries. Interesting place. It's not that capital, is it? Don't think so, but they have a lot of citizens there. It might be the capital. I don't know. I don't know. So, I'm not sure what our plan really should be here. But I think we might be able to go to war next turn. Currently, we're just still building up. But I think we're going to do that. As said, next turn, because I think we're going to end it here. So thank you very much for watching, and until the next time everyone, see ya.